Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we are here with one interesting super badge which is nothing but a record trigger flow super badge unit. So for this super badge also we need special developer edition organization to be connected. So as I have already completed those steps, I am directly going to take up this challenge now. So if you have any queries regarding how to connect with developer edition, video has been already posted in our channel. So do check that guys. Now let's click on launch. As mentioned in our uh, challenge, so we are going to create one flow over here. So search for flow and click on flows now. Here we are going to create a new flow. So click on new flow. Now we are going to select record triggered flow and click on create. Here for object we are going to search for engagement. So click on the first option which you are getting in the below list. And for this configure trigger we are going to choose a record is created or updated. And for entry condition we are going to select all conditions or met with and. So here for field we are going to choose potential donation. So click on that operator as equal so here we are going to give value as true so click on true and when to run the flow for updated records we are going to choose the second radio button and click on done and our flow is ready over here so here we are going to click on the plus symbol and for your element that we are going to choose is get records so click on that and for label we are going to give get record so once it is done api name is auto generated thing so here for object we are going to search for record type so give it as record type and click on that here for condition make sure that you have selected all conditions are met with and so for field we are going to search for developer name click on that operator should be equal so for value we are going to give it from our challenge so all these values are there in our challenge itself so copy this donation and paste it over here now click on done once it is done so here we are going to add one more record which is an element so here we are going to search for create record so search for create record and click on that so for label i'm going to give it as create opportunity api name means auto populated when so leave everything as it is so here how to set the record field we are going to choose our second radio button for object give it as opportunity click on opportunity and scroll down for fields we are going to give it as account id so click on that and for value we are going to choose it as engagement element followed by search for account so which is followed by this account so once it is done click on add field here give field name as close date followed by value as record which is followed by end date so once it is done scroll down and click on add field again for this third field we are going to give it as engagement so click on engagement so here value we are going to give it as record engagement followed by record id so once it is done 
click on add field here give field name as name click on name and for value we are going to give it as record followed by name along with this engagement name so it is right over here so once it is done again click on add field so here we are going to give stage name as field and for value give it as prospecting so it is right over here again we are going to add one more field give name as record type id so click on that value for this would be record type from get record followed by record type id so once it is done we need to check this checkbox which is manually assign variable so for this variable we are going to select record type from get record followed by record type id so once it is done click on done so guys it's time to save and activate this flow now so click on save for flow label we are going to provide it as opportunity from engagement we are going to copy that from our challenge so give flow label and flow api name is auto populated click on save now we are going to activate it click on activate so hopefully we have completed our first challenge now so let's check our first challenge click on check challenge so yeah guys we have successfully completed our first challenge so let's take up our second challenge now so guys for this second challenge uh, let's go back to our flow page so here we are going to click on new flow select flow as record trigger flow click on create your give object name as opportunity click on opportunity uh, select third radio button which is our record is created or updated so scroll down let's set our conditions select our first condition so your at field we are going to give it as a type and operator sql and value should be major gift so click on that and scroll down select the second radio button for uh, when to run the flow for updated records and here for this optimize the flow for we are going to select force field updates and click on done and click on plus arrow here so we are going to choose or get records and for label give it as role user so api name is auto populated and for object we are going to choose it as role search for role and here we are going to set the condition now so click on developer name operator should be equals and value is major gift manager so type this manually once it is done click on done now click on plus symbol below role user so here we are going to click on get record so for this label we are going to give it as get user and api name is auto populated for object select user scroll down and select this user option so here let's set our condition now here give field name as user role id so search for user role id it's right over here click on that so value we are going to give it as role from role user followed by role id now leave everything as it is and click on done 
now click on the plus symbol over get user so here we are going to click on update records and give label name as update opportunity owner so api name is auto populated one for field give owner id so click on that for value we are going to give it as user from get user followed by last modified by this id followed by or search for user id yeah user id is right over here oh sorry guys it should be user id let's do this again so get user from user followed by just type id so that you will get user id over here so click on this id so yeah it's done now click on done so it's time to save and activate our flow so for this flow label we are going to give name as assign major gift manager from our challenge description so paste it over here click on save now let's activate this so hopefully we have completed our second challenge so let's check our second challenge now so yeah guys we have successfully completed our second challenge also now let's check up our third challenge for that go back to our flow screen click on new flow followed by record trigger flow click on create you give object name as account and for this configure trigger we are going to select option as a record is deleted so click on that and leave everything as it is click on done so here click on plus icon choose delete records so here we are going to give label as delete contact API name is auto populated one here we are going to choose specify conditions so for this give object name as contact so click on contact let's set our condition now so here we are going to choose it as account id so click on the first thing and your value as record Uh, which is followed by your record id uh, so for that uh, sorry guys a uh, record should be followed by your account id so for that i'm giving id uh, so here is our account id so this is the condition that we should set over here so once it is done click on done now click on plus symbol over this delete contact so here we are going to choose get records so for this get records we are going to give label name as get new account so this api name is auto populated one so for this object we are going to select as account click on account for field we are going to provide value as name and for this value we are going to copy this from our challenge which is anonymous bucket so copy this and paste it over here so scroll down and for how to store record data we are going to choose our second option so once if you choose you will get the select account field to store in variable by default id would be there on field so for field we are going to give name 
click on name uh, once it is done click on done so now click on plus icon so here we are going to choose update record click on that and here for label I am giving it as update opportunity so API name is auto populated one here choose our second uh, radio button so for this we are going to give record collection as oh sorry guys so for after choosing this uh, we would not get our uh, condition so uh, for getting condition we are going to select this fourth option so once that is done we will get object name we are going to provide it as opportunity click on opportunity scroll down and here we are going to set the condition as account id operator should be equals so for this we are going to set record followed by account id so if you want to get it as soon as possible we have to type as id so that you can get it as account id over here so it is done now let's come back to our second field here let's give it as account id and for this get new account followed by account id so we are going to type it as id so account id is right over here so yeah once it is done click on done it's time to save our flow click on save so we are going to copy this name from our challenge so it is privacy data removal so give flow label as privacy data removal and api name is auto populated click on save so let's activate this now click on activate so yeah guys we have successfully created and saved this flow and now we are going to search flow as donation amount chain so it is right over here now click on donation amount changes flow will get open so once it is open click on this decide who to alert let's edit this element now here at resource page we are going to cancel this so click on new resource here we are going to choose resource type as formula and api name we are going to choose it from our challenge so copy this and paste it over here so for data type we are going to choose it as number so select number and decimal places will be 2 so here we are going to type of formula so guys i have given one formula over here i'll provide this formula in description so do paste that formula here and we have to check on syntax once it is getting as valid we are going to click on done so here now let's click on done let's save this click on save as save and let's activate this page as well and yeah guys now let's check our third challenge yeah guys we have successfully completed our third challenge too so see you all on next video until then bye bye